WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. We got a little bit of a mixed bag out here. That mixed bag has the Dow off 25 points, basically flat. They rustled down eight points. That's not flat. That's four tenths of a percent. The trend is off 30 points. That's two tenths of a percent. You've got the S&P up one tenth. The Nasdaq up three tenths. That's 51 points. And the semis up five tenths. That is 21 points out there. Let's go spend a little time and take a look at our uh, cash indice charts out here. Give me a moment. We'll switch panels. And what you'll begin with is a, the upper left-hand side is going to be the Dow. Now, what we're going to see out here, and it's consistent for each of the equity future contract. The only one that's not is really the semi. Uh, the semi's in the Dow. Well, let's, let's go through this one by one. Dow Transports very well may have hit their point of where this counter trend rally ends. And the reason is because price is testing its oscillator and change line. That's currently at 36,352. If at day's end, the Dow closes above 36,352, that tells us that we're going to go target its all time highs again. Doesn't say we'll take them out, but does say that we would target that level. The S&P 500 also has tested and rejected its oscillator and change line. If price were to close above 4741, it says we had higher. The NDX 100, now that's the one that is the most bearish of the three that were the, the other two that we've looked at so far because it oscillator and change line changed color yesterday and so far and it's red and a test of rejection of a red oscillator and change line says you had south but that means we really have to go pay attention to the nq to see if on a short-term basis any levels of support have failed when we did the one o'clock update or we did the one o'clock uh, uh, first segment we did not see anything that had failed inside of the nq the russell 2000 also testing its red oscillator and change line the semiconductor index out here hasn't made it quite up to that level but it's close 39.42 is the number to be watching there. The Dow Transports, um, I, I really don't have a great handle on what the Dow Transports are doing, other than just a fairly large range of a sideways move out there. That much I can see, but otherwise, intraday or daily, I, I'm not really sure what it's, uh, what it's doing and what to tell you out here. With regard to the spot volatility, next, it is below its 50-day exponential moving average. That's always bullish for the S&P 500. And uh, so that's it, folks. Stay tuned. You've got two more great hours out there. Watch the those levels at the end of the day, they may be signaling something to you and I. So your favorite polar bear, David White, he's up next. Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home from 3 to 4. I'll be back with you tomorrow at 1 o'clock sharp. We'll look forward to seeing you then. Have a wonderful Wednesday, folks.